up the other side back with another reaction y'all from the fat man's podcast i got another reaction for y'all but before we get in this reaction y'all hold on uh, that good oh before we get in this reaction y'all please hit that like button and subscribe button i'm trying to hit 600 subscribers by end of this month so please do share with your family friends wherever you see it. i believe we're at 509 so that means we need 91 more to go so we'll see if we can hit it y'all but how y'all doing how y'all doing today i'm doing good if you ask i'm doing pretty good i got me a little haircut i just ate ate some steak yeah, shoot, I'm straight. You know what I mean? But yeah, let's get in this reaction, y'all. I got a reaction from uh, it's uh, Intellectuals Insight. That's his channel channel name, and the reaction name is Thomas Thomas Soul Shocking Re uh, uh, Solution to Eliminate Racism Completely. So hey y'all, what's getting this video? Uh send me have a record, maybe do time or so. Then I'm doing um Steven Crowder. Then I don't know who else. I might do some Jesse Lee Peterson today. I don't know, I'm not for sure. But hey y'all, what's getting this reaction? It's only six minutes, so I'm gonna probably pause at the half minute mark. So yeah. All right, y'all, what's getting here? Quote Few subjects produce more fallacies than race. Among these fallacies are that, now get ready, I'm going to give you a, a passage here. Race was the basis of slavery, that racism is the main reason for black-white differences in incomes and in all the other aspects of life that depend on income. Moreover, there is often an implicit assumption that racism and discrimination are so closely linked that they go up or down together. Now, what you have produced is a handful of outrages and we'll take them one at a time, how's that? Race wasn't the basis of slavery? Oh, it's a, it's a simple historical matter. Uh, slavery existed for thousands of years, as far back as there are any records of human beings. Uh, archaeological finds suggest that, race, race, that slavery rather existed before human beings could read and write. So what race, a racial difference between the slaves and the enslavers, that is a relatively new phenomenon. You, you didn't have in ancient times the ability to go to another continent and move millions of people across, of a different race across the ocean. So you enslaved the people who were nearby. The Europeans enslaved Slavs for centuries before they, enslaved, before they brought the first black uh, African to the Western Hemisphere. Okay, but so you're not suggesting, you do not wish to say anything other than that slavery as practiced in the United States was it may have been recent, but you'd argue, you'd be willing to grant that it was particularly perverse and 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 destructive no, it's because it's because race got mixed into it at that point, right? Race got mixed into it in the United States more than anywhere else for a very simple reason: the United States was founded, well, as the Declaration said, uh, of the independence said, uh, men are all men are created equal. Right. If that's true, then the only way you can justify slavery is to say that some men are less than men. I see. So the racial but, in, but, in, but in Brazil, where, where Brazil uh, imported more slaves in the United States, there was no such ideology. Brazil was not a democratic country. The whole issue never arose. I see, I see. All right, race doesn't account for differences in black-white income? No, the, the, the differences between uh, uh, income between Western Europeans and Eastern Europeans is greater than the difference between blacks and whites in the United States. Differences in income are, are, are the rule, they are not the exception. So, looking at all these sociological studies that show a persistent gap mm. between African Americans in income and every other form of American in income is what, useless? It tells us things that we don't need to know. It misleads us. How would you describe that? Uh, wrong, I think, sums it up. Uh... Before we get into the time of soul, what he's about to say, I didn't even, I, I didn't know Brazil had had more import of slaves than, um, uh, than the United States did. 
I didn't know that. That's a oh, damn. I did not know that. Um, on the race thing. Yes, he's definitely right. Sorry, been been here since the dawn of time. Since since man has been on Earth. Since uh since the Egyptians. Since I don't know. This shit been like that all the time. They would, but they couldn't cross. They couldn't cross over the sea like they did back in back in where we, where our aunt, my ancestors or your ancestors, had went to go get the slaves out of Africa. Uh, yeah. So back, at, he's definitely right. They would go. They would go to next the next. I guess the next city, next country. Nobody. Back in those times, nobody even knew there was other lands in the world. You know what I mean? They just only thought this is what this is the only land they got, and this is the only thing we can play with, the only thing we can fight fight over. We're going to have wars right here, stuff like that. So, say you've been around for a long time. We are, and we all know that. But you know, you know, they always. Uh, uh, we were enslaved for longer periods of time. Well, 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 okay. I mean, 40 years, okay. I'm pretty sure there's some other civilization that was way longer than we did. You know what I mean? But yeah, I don't know. But he's definitely right. Um, man, I like Thomas, so he's, damn. And I didn't even know, did y'all know about the Brazil thing? I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it is not true. Uh, Hispanics uh, have a lower per capita income than blacks. Hispanic households and families have a higher income than black uh, households and families, simply because the Hispanic uh, families are, are larger. Okay. Now, this last assertion, race and discrimination, you suggest, are not so closely linked that they move up and down together. First of all, dis describe, di di distinguish the two, race and discrimination. As well, you, well, ra 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 racism is, is, is an attitude inside people's heads. Right. Discrimination is an overt act taking place outside in the real world. Okay. So now, and so not only with blacks, but you find the same thing with Jews in previous uh, centuries, that that part of the United States... Hold on, y'all. I've got to go back. I didn't, I didn't catch that. Hold on. I'm a little slow on this one. I, I, didn't, I didn't catch it. Race and discrimination, you suggest, are not so closely linked that they move up and down together. First of all, dis describe, di di distinguish the two, race and discrimination. Well, you, well, ra 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 well, racism is, is, is an attitude inside people's heads. Right. Discrimination is an overt act taking place outside in the real world. Okay. So, now, and so, not only with blacks, but you find the same thing with Jews in previous uh, centuries that that part of the United States where, where there was the most racism against blacks, namely the South, right. is where black construction workers were much more common than they were in the North, right on into the 20th century. Uh, and people, most people are unaware that in the South, blacks were the construction workers. I remember a professor at Howard University saying that when he was a boy in the South, his father uh, pointed to some man on the street and said, he was the first black construction, first white construction worker in this town. And so what was going on there? The racism did not, so, so whites, whites could think of blacks as somehow or other separate, but they'd still employ them because, oh, yes. the, because the market made it profitable to do so. Yeah, in fact, in fact like, yes, and in fact, a law had to be passed to stop this because uh, in, the, in the 20s, and particularly in the, as the Depression got underway, uh, Black uh, construction companies in the South using black non-union labor would come up to the North and underbid on government contracts, taking them away. I and see. so this was, this, was this was very common to the point where they passed the Davis-Bacon Act, which said that on government contracts, you must pay the prevailing wage, which, so, meant, which uh, was translated almost invariably into the union, union wage. wage right. so, so your point on the distinction between racism and discrimination is... Don't worry about racism. It's inside people's heads. You can't measure it. Uh, there's a strongly subjective, just forget about it. Concentrate only on discrimination. And the best answer to discrimination is to let markets operate because then people will discover 
it, it will tend to militate against discrimination. Oh, yes, when people because... have skills to offer, they'll be employed. Whatever this notion of racism in people's heads is, don't worry about that. Is that right? Yeah. The, the, what, I'm, what I'm saying essentially is that racism, racists may prefer one race to another, but they prefer themselves to everybody else. <laughs> So they'll, they'll do what's profitable. That's right. That's right. And okay. that, that was even true in South Africa under apartheid, that there were hundreds of construction companies in South Africa that were fined in a government crackdown because they were hiring more blacks and in higher positions than they were allowed to under the apartheid law because that was where the money was. All right. Wow. I didn't even know that. He's right, though. Most people think about they sales, they want to be make money as much as they can, so they don't employ something that they don't like, or damn, that's smart as hell. I never thought about that way. Don't don't think about racism because it's in their head. Think about discrimination. Huh? Wow, that's crazy. Hmm. No, you're right. he's right. He's definitely right. Well, I, I never really thought about that because either way, if I mean, if if there's no market for it, if it's no, he so he's just saying just let the market people whoever whoever wants to work there or weed out the people that don't want to uh, work in that field anymore, and they got black people or another race coming there that's working, they'll they'll hire them because they want to get more profit. They want to make profit, which he's absolutely right. Huh, so they all go against their values because they want to be profitable because it's about the money. Wow, okay. Hey, tell me what y'all think up in the comments because I, I really didn't even think about that, how that, how that works. So, uh, y'all want me to do more Thomas Soul videos? Please put up in the comments. Um, but yeah, please tell me what y'all think up in the comments. Uh, I really would like to know about uh, about you and the Thomas Soul. Tell me about uh, the Brazilian thing. Did you know that uh, Brazil had more import of slaves than the United States? Uh, have you ever thought about, um, race? don't worry about racism, but worry about discrimination? Tell me in the comments, yeah. But hey, um, just to end the video, y'all, please hit that like button, subscribe button. And I'm trying to hit 600 subscribers by the end of this month, so please do share with your family, friends, whoever you see. And just tell them to subscribe to the Fat Man's Podcast. But I'm out, y'all. Osiris out from the Fat Man's Podcast. And I'll see you guys on the next one, y'all. Peace out. Mm -hmm.